How's it guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos, art videos, recipes, crafts, DIYs, mixed media, happy melon hauls, fountain pens, but of course, and fountain pen ink. And sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video. So if any of those genres sound appealing to you, feel free to subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share as it were. And today... I have this beauty. I'm so in love with this again. This is renewed love right here. I love shopping in my stash. <laughs> you know what I mean? So much fun to pull out things from yesteryear, as it were. <laughs> this is a cover from Hobonichi from 2016. This is my day free Techo Hobonichi, which is a notebook. I use this as my YouTube planner. I have my loops and threads, um, scissors from Michaels, pink and gray plaid, I love plaid, a palette knife, a couple of washi tapes, very, very cute, and I have a couple of sticker sheets, these just so happen to be the color palette of my choice, as of late, as it were, because it is summertime, and these are so cute and fun. These are from an old sticker book, and I like to take... As you can see, it's they are stapled. This is from Target. And I just like to take, break these down, and I file them in my filing cabinet, one of them, which is right over there. And then I pull out some, and I keep them in my fridge bins, which I have right beside me here on my bookshelf. That way, I can shop my stash, use my things, and then I just cycle in and out, and incorporate anything new that I have. But this color palette is so cute. I really like it. So that is what we're going to do today. And I also brought this up. This is nothing new if you are have been subscribed to my channel for a long time. And if not, that's okay. Um, this is a Henry Bindle makeup pouch. It comes in a set of four. So I just have the one big compartment. I have two different sets of these. And sadly, I someone I heard that the store closed. So I don't know. I didn't verify that. But that would be unfortunate. Um, I have lots of purses from them. I love them for many years. So, But you can get this exact same bag style from Bloomies. Bloomingdale's has them for a lot less expensive than what I paid for this. And you can also go to Walmart. They also have the plastic makeup bags. I have those too. And get something similar. So I made this little ribbon. I think last year has holographic it's a holographic bow and I put it on rose gold hardware. So I have a bunch of different pens and markers and you name it. Everything is in here. And this moves around with me and then I change this out all the time. This is just one of my pencil pouches. So I thought I would work from this one today. I was feeling it. So I brought, toted it upstairs as it were. And I've taken this out. This flap goes right back here and I've already taken it out gorgeous, right? I set this up for summer and I think it's so pretty. I miss using this cover. This is a, one of the fun covers. This, I think this is one of my favorite ones actually that I have from Hobonichi. And that's saying something. So I have two notebooks essentially with two more river paper, my fountain pen, Let's just go ahead and pull that right out. A USB Eco. Very simple. Let's see. What did I do over here? Yes. This is notebook two. We haven't started that one yet. So I put another holographic bow that I made. And a whole bunch of different... Um, ephemera that I made myself. That's a Planner Society washi tape card. So I love this. It speaks to me for summer. I'm happy with it. Renewed love, as it were. Just rearrange your deco, and there you go. 
So I'm going to take out the two pencil boards that I have in here. What week are we on? We are going to do July the 6th through whenever it ends, right? So, I'll just stow these aside. And we will go from there. Now, I'm going to set this to music. See, so you guys, I hope you enjoy it. Sorry about the background noise. It is in the 90s, I do believe. It's hot. And I have both... I have my air conditioning running. So, I do have a fan on and there's some lawn people outside. So, anyway, if you can hear that, I apologize. But we are going to set this to music anyway. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it gets your creativity juices flowing. Enjoy!
of you who are interested in fountain pens, and I used quite a few of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fountain pens. So I thought I would go over each fountain pen, in case you weren't familiar, and what ink I have in each one. And then we will look at the final spread. Now, this is my Lloyd's Charm 1917, and I have my fountain pen log in here. This year I was going, and I did, start a new fountain pen log. And I have it in my Search and Collect. And it's in a Hobonichi, which is great, but I want a thicker paper. So I've since just gone back because as I was using the Search and Collect, I was also writing in here um, my fountain pen log. And... Like I said, I wanted something thicker, so that's going to arrive by sometime in August or so. So in the meantime, I'm just using this, so at least I was able to order it. And I will show you that when it comes. But um, the paper, I just didn't want to use the thinner paper. I wanted something thicker because I like to look back on it. Because not only is this an ink log for me, but this is... The exact name and nib that I have in each of my fountain pens and that's important for me at least to know you know because I have a lot of fountain pens I have a generous collection and I have let it sit for a while because depending on where I have my pen in my house the ink will last longer a longer amount of time now if I have it with my journal obviously I'm going to go through that ink quick quicker than I would if I just use it for my planners because pardon me it's a significant amount of writing right because I journal every day so that I those things I do love and I love all of the colors of it of the pen and it's easily accessible to everybody you know because they're the ecos are only $28 so some pens are very very pricey so that's how I feel anyway so let's just go over um, scent since then because what that's over three months it's been inked up so I just have a wee bit left and I am the type of person that I'm gonna use it all the way the only time I would ever ever <laughs> ever take the ink out and waste it is if my pen was clogged or something. But that's just me. And then I have a Twisby Eco transparent green fountain pen and inside this one I have a medium nib. And I inked up this particular pen on Tuesday April the 11th, 2019, with Jacques Urban and Marot de Chavour, 1670. Now, if any of you guys are familiar with ink, don't it doesn't get past me that the ink that's in this pen is more expensive than the pen itself, okay? So I am aware of that, and I think that's kind of cute, but <laughs> that's just me too, you know, being cute. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I could go. I could elaborate, but I, I just won't. Anyway, <laughs> you make of that what you will. So, yes, I love this ink. It's beautiful. Next, I have another Twisby Eco Transparent Purple Fountain Pen Stub 1.1 millimeter Nib Limited Edition. I inked up this particular pen on Tuesday, November 14th, 2019, and I have Sailor Gentile Fuji Musumi Ink Wisteria Purple Four Seasons, and I also added in where I'm getting the ink from now, and where I'm buying the fountain pen. Now, some of them I haven't because I just started doing that, and I got this from Jet Pens, the ink. Okay, next I have a Twisby Eco White Fountain Pen with a medium nib, and I inked up on Friday, November 15th, 2019, 
with Diamine Iridescent Rubber, and that's from Cult Pens. And this ink is gorgeous. You might not be able to tell on this paper the sheen and the different elements that come up with this ink, but it's there. Definitely you can see it on the Tomoe River paper. Okay, next I have a Twisby Eco Fountain Pen in Yellow Special Edition. Nib size 1.1 millimeter sub from Goulet Pens. And I inked up on Tuesday, March 26th, 2020, with Warrer and Klingner Alt Gold Groon, which is Old Green, 50 ml. And I got this from Jet Pens. Beautiful. This ink is stunning. Okay, next I have a Conklin Duragraph, which is beautiful. And this Conklin Duragraph fountain pen, black matte with rose gold, limited edition, nib size 1.1 millimeter stub. And on the side, I bought the Conklin Omniflex number six steel nib, rose gold. That was actually $24, $24 just for the nib. But they were sold out of the pen with the nib that I wanted, so that's how I opted to do it. And the pen itself was $60 from Goulet Pens. Um, it's a beautiful pen. You have to be very careful with it because, as you can see even here, it'll scrape off. The black mat will scrape off, so you need to be careful. So this nib is the nib that it came with since they were sold out of the Omni, Omniflex, but I do have the Omniflex nib, which is rose gold. This one is black. Okay, so what I inked up with this um, on Friday, March 27, 2020, P.W. Ackerman, Gelee Ochre Von Franz. Pardon my Dutch, as it were. I know my Dutch friends will be having a hoot and holler over that. Go for it. <laughs> it's all good. I try. Next, I have a Twisby Eco 580 Smoke Rose Gold 2 Fountain Pen, 1.1 millimeter stub nib. I inked up with this on Monday, April the 6th, 2020, with Iridescent by Diamine Christine, which is a blue black with red sheen. Got and I got that off of um, Cult Pens. This is gorgeous. I love it. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's just a nice pen. Again, Twisby. Now, these ones are more expensive. I didn't put the price of this one, but not that much more. Maybe double the price of the Eco. Okay, and then last but not least, as far as the fountain pens that I use, this is my latest squeeze, my latest addition to my collection. This is my first Pelican pen. So this is the Pelican Sauvierne M400 fountain pen, tortoiseshell white with a broad nib. And I got this from Cult Pens. And... I filled this up on June 5th, 2020, which was a Friday, with Diamine Shimmer Golden Ivy that I got from Cult Pens as well. So, this pen, I think, is the most lovely pen that I've written with ever so far. So, I have other things up my sleeve, but... So far, this one I love. If I could recommend any pen, if you just want a one pen, I would get this one because it just writes so nicely. It's beautiful. And I had originally ordered this from P.W. Ackerman with the other order of ink that I ordered, but they were suddenly out of it, and I said that when I did this haul, which is how I ended up getting it from Cult Pens, so anyway but don't you worry I placed the handsome order from Ackerman as well, so 
Okay, so those are the ink choices with the pens that I use. This is my um, Superior Labor Co. cover in ochre. I got this. I ordered this ahead and it finally got ink all over it. I finally arrived, I think, in July or August, somewhere around there. Um, I love it. It's an A5 size, which is the size that I prefer. So that's what I'm housing that in. All right. And then I have the matching case here, pen case. And I just added in these cute little, um, just paper that I laminated just to protect the case a little. And I keep the more expensive pens on this side just to protect them. That's my aim anyway. And then all of my ecos are on the other side. I'm going to go like this because then I can fit more in. Now I won't be able to fit all of them, but I can get four of those. And I'll just throw this in my planner. And I just zip this up. So, let's take a look and get this back in my actual hobo. And then I can just add this. Actually, that's the wrong side. I have my Coco Eero here. And then I have my fountain pen here. And then I like to have my pencil boards in my planner. This is, it's the year of the rat, so this is from one of my um, stationary selection boxes put on by Mitts. I'm sure you guys have heard of her. So I just clip that on there. Okay. So this is how it turned out, and I decided to go for it and use all of these stickers from the sheet. And I am going to cut this out, which is why I'm keeping this, because I can use this as an outline in a planner. Okay? Some planner spread or something. So I don't like to waste. I like to use my things. Okay. So I used all of the stickers. I think it's totally cute. I hand lettered Monday through Sunday. And then I even used the hearts to put Mun, Sun, Mun, Two. They're abbreviated. You get the point. And then the eyes. Yes, please. Ooh la la, mon Get it done. Blah, blah, blah. Treat yourself. Stop procrastinating. All right. So stop procrastinating. You got this girl, girls, 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 treat yourself. Best girlfriends. Yo. Yes, please again. Yes, please up here and the sunnies and the hearts and the floral. Love it. And then I made a list to do. And I used my Zig Clean Color Dot on here. And this is my YouTube planner, but I like to incorporate things that are in my studio, especially. Although I don't limit myself to that. But organize studio, declutter kitchen, read, and one little word. Because I participate in Allie Edwards' one little word every year, three years strong. Love that. 
And you can see right here on the Declutter Kitchen, that is one of the iridescent inks. It's beautiful. So, I have a quote. And this is by Glennon Doyle Melton. And I hand-lettered two of the words in the quote. It says, be messy and complicated and afraid and show up anyways. And I'll leave you folks with those thoughts. If you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Comment, like, share, as it were. And thank you ever so kindly for watching. Peace out.